The discovery that changed everything, extended version, the James Wood Space Telescope, one of the most sophisticated instruments humanity has ever launched into space, has captured something truly extraordinary, something that could change our understanding of the universe forever. From its orbit high above Earth's atmosphere, this telescope, designed to detect faint light from the farthest reaches of the cosmos, locked its focus on a familiar yet mysterious target, Proxima Centauri b. This exoplanet, orbiting the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri, is the closest known exoplanet to our solar system, sitting just over four light years away. Despite the vast distance, it has long been the subject of intense interest due to its location within the habitable zone, where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. But what the telescope captured wasn't just routine atmospheric data or heat signatures, it was something more mysterious and exhilarating. It observed repeating, luminous flashes that appeared to come from the planet's dark side. These lights were not random. They seemed deliberate like the glow of artificial lighting in a city seen from orbit. To many, this instantly sparked one thrilling possibility. Could this be the signature of an alien civilization? These lights didn't match any known natural phenomenon. They were too structured, too patterned, too concentrated in one region. Could we be witnessing the glow of intelligent life, perhaps a sprawling alien metropolis glittering in the eternal night? This revelation has rekindled global interest in the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? For centuries, humans have looked up at the stars and wondered whether other beings intelligent, curious, perhaps even watching us in return, might exist out there. And now, we might have our first real clue. The scientific community is buzzing. Top astronomers from NASA and research institutions around the world are analyzing the data. One of the leading voices, Dr. David Kipping of Columbia University, noted that Proxima Centauri b is particularly complex as a planet. Unlike typical rocky planets, which absorb the energy of their star and re-emit it as heat in the form of infrared radiation, Proxima b exhibits anomalous infrared behavior. The reason may lie in its unique orbit and proximity to its red dwarf host star. Proxima Centauri is a flare star known for intense bursts of energy that could affect a planet's surface and atmosphere. This dynamic relationship creates complex radiation patterns and heat distribution across the planet's surface, making it especially difficult to model or understand using conventional tools. Yet, the James Wood Telescope, equipped with powerful infrared imaging sensors, excels precisely in these challenging conditions. Its instruments are capable of detecting even the faintest glimmers of light, allowing astronomers to peer into regions previously thought to be shrouded in darkness. And it was during one of these infrared scans that the unexplainable flashes were observed. From the dark side of the planet where no natural light should exist, came consistent, rhythmic signals. It wasn't a one-time event or a glitch. The signals reappeared over multiple observation cycles. This strongly suggests something extraordinary is occurring. What adds more intrigue is that Proxima b rotates in such a way that one side always faces its star, a condition known as tidal locking. This creates a permanent day side and night side with extreme temperatures on both ends unless some force, like an atmosphere or artificial heat, helps balance them. If the night side is too cold, life as we know it couldn't survive there unless, of course, Advanced civilizations have found ways to generate energy, light, and warmth. This is precisely why these city-like light patterns are so exciting. If real, they suggest not just life, but technologically advanced life civilizations capable of altering their environment and developing infrastructure that can be seen across space. The James Wood Space Telescope's sensitivity to infrared wavelengths is what made this discovery possible. Infrared light is often invisible to the human eye but essential in identifying heat sources, atmospheric conditions, and even artificial emissions. Unlike most telescopes that struggle to distinguish faint planetary lights from the glare of stars, the James Wood excels in observing the thermal emissions of rocky planets, even those located light years away. This capability is what has allowed it to spot unexplained luminosity on Proxima b's night side. Now, researchers are focusing on the thermal profile of the planet. The difference in temperature between day and night can reveal a lot about a planet's atmosphere or lack thereof. 
If Proxima B lacks an atmosphere, it would show extreme temperature contrasts of blazing hot day side and a frozen, pitch black night side. But if it has a moderating atmosphere, heat would be distributed more evenly, and life could be more feasible. So far, the data suggests something more moderate than expected, which might hint at an atmospheric layer or even energy regulation technologies built by intelligent beings. With Proxima B's orbital period lasting just 11.2 Earth days, scientists can regularly observe its changes. The quest to confirm alien life following the unprecedented observations from the James Wood Space Telescope. Astronomers are now diving deeper into the mysteries of Proxima Centauri b and possibly, into the question of intelligent life beyond Earth. If Proxima b has an atmosphere and current evidence strongly suggests it might the next major step is to analyze its chemical composition. This is no small task. It requires the delicate examination of light that filters through the planet's atmosphere as it passes in front of its star a technique known as spectroscopy. What scientists are hoping to find are the so-called biosignatures chemical elements like oxygen, methane, and water vapor in the right combinations. These could indicate the presence of life, and perhaps even complex ecosystems. Although the James Wood Telescope is primarily built for deep space imaging and isn't fully optimized for biosignature detection, it can still detect elements such as carbon dioxide, ozone, and water vapor all critical markers in the search for habitable environments. Ozone, in particular, is a strong indicator of a protective atmosphere, which is essential for shielding life from harmful radiation. Yet, to truly confirm these findings and explore them in greater detail, astronomers will soon rely on the next generation of observational tools. One of the most anticipated among them is the extremely large telescope, ELT, a massive ground-based observatory expected to begin operations in 2028. With its unprecedented mirror size and adaptive optics, the ELT will allow researchers to investigate atmospheric layers, surface composition, and possibly weather patterns on distant exoplanets. One of the biggest challenges astronomers face when observing distant planets is the blinding light from their host stars. Stars shine millions of times brighter than the tiny planets orbiting them, making it difficult to detect the faint light reflecting off a planet's surface. To solve this, scientists are developing groundbreaking technologies. Coronagraphs devices placed inside telescopes that block out starlight, revealing dim objects near them. And Starshade's giant, flower-shaped spacecraft that fly in formation with telescopes, precisely blocking starlight before it even enters the lens. These instruments must operate with mind-bending precision. A starshade, for instance, must maintain perfect alignment with its telescope across distances of tens of thousands of kilometers, with a tolerance of mere millimeters. Why go to such extremes? Because by blocking starlight, these devices allow astronomers to detect the reflected or emitted light from planet's light that can tell us everything from the chemicals in the atmosphere to the potential for vegetation or even civilization. In the future, telescopes may also feature adaptive optics that correct for image distortion caused by movement and atmospheric interference, giving us the ability to produce clear, high-resolution maps of alien worlds. These breakthroughs, still in development, represent a monumental leap forward. If successful, they will help us answer one of the most profound questions in science and philosophy. Are we truly alone in the universe? Each new tool, each new image, brings us closer to that answer. The day may come when we no longer ask if intelligent life exists beyond Earth but how soon we will meet them. Until then, our journey continues one discovery, one telescope, one light at a time. If this excites your curiosity, tell us what you think in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because the next chapter in this cosmic story might be just around